Hi, thank you for joining me today. I'm Tara and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to go over how to create a fall themed baby shower. So last year I helped do the decorations and a little bit of the game planning for a fall My Little Pumpkin themed baby shower. And I wanted to share some pictures and some of the supplies and things that I did and give you some tips on how to create or throw a fall themed baby shower. So let's get started. One of the first things I did was pick up some paper from Michael's or Joann's and I just picked up this pack. All These all came in one little package together and they're really nice fall colors. And then I hit up Dollar General and the Dollar Tree. As a matter of fact, I got these little pumpkins that are nice um, ceramic material. They're not plastic. I got these for a dollar each. So, and then we have these little signs here to do some labeling for some of the party games. And I also picked up this canvas from the dollar store. You can pick up canvases from anywhere, but the dollar store, the Dollar Tree actually carries paint canvases. And then I, I think I went to TJ Maxx and I picked up a pack of onesies. And then I also had some wooden pumpkins. So you'll have to shop when it's that time of year and pick up some wooden little pumpkin. Um, they almost look like something that you would use for like putting some storage in. And I ended up buying some glitter spray gold spray paint and some regular gold spray paint and I spray painted the little wooden containers that had pumpkins on either side and then it was like a little box on the inside for some type of storage and I used Dollar Tree or Dollar Store little floral um, fall kind of arrangements. I snipped them up with some wire cutters and kind of spread them apart and created little floral fall arrangements to go inside of these little pump wooden pumpkin storage items. And then to make them more for like the baby shower theme, I used some of this fall cardstock paper and cut out some little onesies or baby body suits, a little bit larger than this one here. I took a little popsicle stick and I glued the baby body suits. I had one on each side and then I stuck them in the floral arrangement to add a little pop of the baby shower theme. And I also created a diaper cake and I picked up some little votive type candles that were the battery powered kind. And I used little wooden dowels glued onto one end and then I just stuck them inside of the diapers. So I will put in a picture of the diaper cake that I created and I hope that you find some inspiration. I also bought some just burlap ribbon that you can also pick up at the Dollar Tree and just use little um, straight pins to keep that on there. I think that you can do a lot of hot gluing if you prefer. 
However, for the mom to be able to deconstruct that diaper cake and use all of the diapers, I think it's quite handy to just put some straight pins in and then they can just pop them off and then undo the rubber bands that you use to hold those diapers in and throw them in their diaper bag and go. Now to create this sign that I used the canvas for, I created an iron-on that I put right onto the sign and it was for the family name and it said something along the lines of, you know, welcome our little pumpkin or something like that. I'll throw a picture in. And the, the project, I found a little inspiration from Pinterest to create this. And I spray painted some of that gold on there just to put some more accents on there and kind of, you know, give it a little pop of color. And then I put a pumpkin that I got the image from Cricut Design Space. And I used, I think, a spooky font, which is kind of Halloween-y, um, to create the lettering for the sign. And then people can leave the little um, circles cut out from the cardstock or like I did, you can adhere them on already and then just have the family members and friends and guests sign right onto the canvas. And it's just like a nice little keepsake. You can hang it up in the kid's room or just keep it as a nice keepsake in a memory box for your little one and it shows all the guests in their own handwriting who came to the baby shower. And then I use these onesies to create some also keepsakes or if depending on like what size you get and how old the child is, what they can wear, when they can wear the onesies, or if you just make them for decorations and the mom can just save them as little keepsakes. And I created just cute little images that I found in Cricut Design Space. And then used iron-on and just ironed them on, super easy. And one of my favorite things that I did for this fall themed baby shower was creating these little onesies. that I used the Cricut Design Space to, to cut and draw. Thank you for celebrating our little pumpkin. And then I went to my local grocery store. I was able to pick up little gourds that look like miniature pumpkins and use them for the shower party favors for all the guests to take home. And I just took um, my hole punch, punched a hole in them. I tied this little twine around and then I was able to stick this cute little onesie label onto the gourds that we gave away at the actual baby shower. So all you do is hop into Cricut Design Space Find yourself a little onesie shape, size it down, and to, you know, like something that would be a good size on a little miniature pumpkin or gourd. And then you can add your saying in whatever font that you choose. I added this little drawing on top, and then you just attach it to the image, and Cricut will cut and draw that for you and then just add a little twine tie on there and pop it on the gourds. Now on a side note, for even parties that are non-baby shower related, I think this would be super cute. If you had like a fall themed housewarming party, you could cut the shape of like a little house and say something about, you know, thank you for coming 
to our housewarming or something like that and then stick these little labels on top of a little miniature gourd or little mini pumpkins for people to take home as a party favor. So lots of lots of cute ideas. I want to try to stick to the baby shower theme though for this video. I also took a fuzzy socks that were kind of fall theme colors and I created them into little um, fuzzy sock cupcakes and then we use those to give away for the baby shower um, game prizes. One of the games that I was a part of was the Guess How Many Pumpkins. And I found a glass pumpkin jar or container that could be reused for anything. And I filled it full of pumpkin shaped candies and then we had a guess how many. I used these fall um, colors again and I cut out little pumpkins and I had them sitting next to this little Dollar Tree bucket and took a little chalkboard sign and had guess how many on it and then everyone put their guesses inside and then the person that won and was the closest to how many pumpkins got to take the whole pumpkin container full of all the candies home as one of the gifts for a prize. So I hope that you guys found benefit from this video and some inspiration and whether you're having your own baby shower and you wanna share this information with someone and help create your own baby shower or if you're throwing a baby shower and you were looking from in, for inspiration and some ideas, I really hope that you found this beneficial. Please give it a like. And if you want to continue to follow me for future crafting tutorials, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you for joining me and have a great rest of your day.